Hi friends, and welcome to Inside and Out Yoga and Meditation, where every day we help you reach your highest potential inside and out. My name is Colin, and I'm your meditation guide. Today we're going to keep talking about grounding, and as we did last week, we're going to talk about it in a little bit of a different way. You know, oftentimes I think that when we're feeling ungrounded, it's actually because we are too deeply concerned with ourselves. You know, we're spending too much time in our head, we're spending too much time telling stories of I am, I want, this is me, this is mine, and we kind of lose touch with the world around us and we feel ungrounded because that's not reality. You know, if, if we are so in our own heads that we start to feel that we are the only thing that exists, then we're out of touch with the world around us. Of course, you're not going to feel grounded because you're not even aware of the ground. You know, so as a practice, it can be very helpful to just ease that sense of self. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the philosophy of what is self and who are we and all, all that stuff, but just thinking a little bit less about I, thinking a little bit less about me and about mine and just opening up to the world around you. You know, we only really feel a need to self ourselves or to tell stories involving I, me, or mine when we are unhappy with something or when we want something or when we're craving something. You know, when we are in full action, when you are playing the piano and you are so in it, there's no, oh wow, I'm playing the piano well. And when you do, then you're not in the moment anymore. I think we all have some experience of this. Uh, it's in modern terms, it's called being in the flow. You know, we all have some experience of just a pure action with no narration, no self, nothing like that. And so today we're going to practice that. We're going to practice just easing the I, easing the me, easing the mind, and just opening to what's around us and feeling grounded in the world around us. So let's get after it. All right, settling into your comfortable position, settling into this moment, settling into this body, and settling into this breath. Wherever you feel the breath is fine, whether it's your nostrils, your abdomen, your chest, just feeling the breath there. And maybe if it's comfortable for you, allowing your eyes to come to a close. And just noticing what that feels like with the eyes closed. Seeing if you can relax into this moment. There's nothing to do, nowhere to be, no one to be. Just here breathing in this moment. There's no expectations of you, no need for planning, no need for thinking about the past or the future. You can fully rest in this moment and find peace and contentment here, just breathing. Isn't that great? <laughs> Content in this moment, knowing that you're safe, relatively all right. What does that feel like? Knowing you can be at ease with no tension, no pressure, no clinging, no craving, just enjoying this moment of peace.
maybe broadening the attention to your body as a whole breathing. And seeing if you can let go in the body. It helps me to sync up these thoughts with my breathing. But if that doesn't work for you, there's no need. Breathing in, body as a whole. Breathing out, letting go. If you find your attention has wandered in any way, just allow it to come back to your body as a whole breathing. Now maybe allowing our attention to broaden one more time to the room as a whole. And just being aware of the room as a whole. Again, it helps me to sync this up with my breath. You don't have to. Breathing in, body as a whole, room as a whole, breathing out, just being. Maybe even broadening the attention one more time to the world as a whole. Breathing in, body as a whole, room as a whole, world as a whole. Breathing out, just being. And in this being, thoughts will come, sounds will come, sensations will come, but allowing them all to pass through your awareness, just being open to your body, the room, the world. No need to cling to anything, even thoughts of I, me, or mine. Resting in this awareness of your body and the world as a whole.
Maybe even allowing the edges between yourself and the world around you to soften. And just being open. like still water, just reflecting everything that is. No need to force, push, leave your mark on anything. Once again, allowing thoughts, sounds, and sensations to pass through your awareness. And just resting here. In this openness to yourself and the world around. Maybe at the end here, opening the eyes gently, allowing sights to come into our awareness, just as thoughts, sounds, and sensations have been. No need to cling to them, just allowing. Seeing if you can maintain that openness as you start to look around and move a little bit. Seeing if maybe you can open into this feeling throughout your day, whenever you feel that you're, you've got your blinders on, you're too me-centric, just allow yourself to open up, open out. As always, I want to know how that was for you. I want to I want to know your experience. I'm very curious. I want to know if there's anything I can help with. So don't hesitate to comment on our YouTube videos or on our Instagram or our Facebook or our TikToks. Uh, we're everywhere, so don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, thank you. I'm glad we did this. <laughs>